Good afternoon everyone. I hope that you're having a blessed day today. My name is Trivina Reginald and today's message is entitled The Perfect Storm. Tell me, how often do you uh, go to God and you pray and you ask Him for His will to be done in your life and then suddenly you get caught up in a terrible storm? Well, that has happened to me many times. I start to get anxious, I start to get fearful, I start to feel afraid, I start to feel lonely. Like, where is God? Why is He putting me through this? Why am I going through this? Your faith starts to diminish and, um, and you just start to lose all hope. Well, I've learned that through the Word, God does His will and carries us through the storms. Once again, I'm going to look back at some bi biblical examples. I'm going to look at Joseph and Jacob. So you know the story. Uh, jo Jacob had 12 sons. One of his sons was called Joseph. And he treated Joseph really well, very differently compared to the rest of his brothers. He was Joseph was Jacob's favorite son. He made himself this, made Joseph a special coat, and his brothers were quite jealous of him. And um, not only that, do you remember he had dreams as well, and he dreamt that his brothers would bow down to him, or his family would bow down to him. You see, Jacob's special treatment started to create flaws in Joseph's character. And so, in order for God to take control, he had to go through what he went through. And through the challenges of him being sold to merchants, you remember that? And, um, and him being um, accused of sexual harassment by Potiphar's uh, wife, he remained faithful. And he was thrown in, tr in, in, in prison and still he turned to God and he remained faithful. You know how the story ends and you know that ultimately everything that had happened to Joseph, he remained faithful and everything turned out good for him. So through all of these challenges that he went through, God was with him. So this is also a lesson for us. When we are in a severe storm, God wants us to turn to him because he has a divine purpose in our lives just like what he had for Joseph. Then you may ask yourself the question, why are storms necessary in our lives? Sometimes he just God just wants to develop a Christ-like character in us. He wants us to change the areas that need needs to be changed. I'll tell you about my story. About 6 years ago, we my husband and I went through a very trying time in our marriage and we were our, our marriage was about to fail. But at the same time, we had to turn to God, but we turned to God individually. He, um, he helped us through our storms individually, and we had to have this relationship with Him. By having that individual relationship and making Him the center of our lives, He became the center of our marriage. And we survived that storm. We survived that crisis in our lives. You see, those who are ready to meet God needs to go through the refining process, allowing God to reflect his character in us. I'm going to speak about what happened to the disciples. They were caught up in a horrible storm. So they were crossing the river from seeing to the multitude and they were on this lake. So it was a lake, not a river. And they were caught up in this, in this terrible storm. And where was Jesus? Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat peacefully and at that time the disciples must have wondered Lord where are you why aren't you waking up why aren't you helping us through the storm I'm going to read uh, Mark 4 verse 37 and it says and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full and he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so faithful? How is it that you have no faith? <laughs> How often does that happen to us? Whenever we are caught up in a terrible storm, we, we fear and, and our, we lose our faith, right? 
So you see the disciples were trapped in this small boat trying to fight the storm by themselves so that they can stay afloat, but they couldn't do it on their own. Jesus was asleep. They cried out in desperation. They were afraid. They said, teacher, don't you care that we perish? Jesus' words were, why are you so fearful? How is that that you have no faith? What I'm saying is that Jesus may not stop the storm, but he can go through that storm with us. How often do we go through the same experiences as the disciples? We cry out to God and say, where are you? Don't you love me? Don't you care for me? We think that, we, that he's not there. We, we think that he, that he has left us. And we end up battling the storms all by ourselves. We trust in our own strength and we lose all hope and we tend, tend to perish. You know, what, I, um, what also came to mind are the, uh, the three Hebrew boys. Do you remember? They were told that they need to bow down to a statue, to, an, uh, to, to a, golden, a golden image. And these three boys stood up firmly and they did not want to bow down because their God was the God in heaven. They, were, they didn't want to bow, bow down. And so God, so they went into the, to, they, they decided that they will go and they will, they will die. If they perish, they perish. When they went into the furnace, nothing happened to them. In fact, Jesus was with them in that furnace. They didn't die. They didn't even get a slight burn on their body or even on their clothes. You see, God has an ultimate purpose for us in our lives he is with us through every storm in our lives now I know that things are difficult in your life everybody is going through something this COVID situation has messed us all up in some ways you know marriages has been destroyed People are struggling to find relationships. They feel like nobody is, there's, there's no partner out there for them. They feel lost. They're going, they're battling a, an illness and they think that they are by themselves fighting these illnesses. But I'm telling you friends, the same lesson is, is, is here for you today. I'm here to deliver that same message to you today, that the storms of life is inevitable. We are gonna go through these difficult and trying times. However, we, we, we need to have faith and we need to fight the storm. Jesus is with us. He is on that boat of, li boat of, boat of life. He will not leave us during the storm. He is not going to, he's not going to desert us. He is with us. And I'm going to read another verse for you. And this is something that this verse really applies, applied to me when I was going through the storm. And it is found in Romans 8 and verse 37. And it says, yet in all things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. So I hope that this message has encouraged you today and that you feel blessed and that you can rest assured that even though Christ may, you may not see Christ, you may not see God helping you or, or being present at that time, but know that he is there just like how he was with the disciples. He was there. He was, he was physically on the boat and he was present. And he reassured them, why are you so fearful? Why are you so frightened when I am right here? And like it was with Joseph, Joseph was faithful and he was, he God was with him throughout all of the trials and tribulations that he has had to face. And like the three Hebrew boys, they were in the furnace and Jesus was with them. People saw four people there. So Jesus is with you through your trials. So stay faithful and know that he is Lord and he is your father and he will help you and he will give you peace and comfort. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you today. We thank you because of your word, Father, that we can rest assured that you are with us through whatever storms and challenges that we may face in our lives. You are there and you have not left us and you have not forsaken us, dear Jesus. We thank you for all your promises and we thank you, Heavenly Father, because all of these people who are watching 
um, may feel that presence through this message today. Thank you, dear Jesus, for all that you do for us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, take care. God bless, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>